Welcome well, to well to, to testing, testing Tuesday. Tuesday. Oh, it was off script. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> it was the twenty eighth episode of um, <laughs> Testing Tuesday, and I got it wrong for the first time. Cut, cut. Never mind. Never mind. <laughs> okay. Anyway, oh, I think I need some peace of mind now. How could I possibly mm. achieve that? Um. How could I achieve that enlightened tranquility that will all, you always express, <laughs> especially in the I, last hour or so? <laughs> I have a s secret for that. I use what? a meditation app. Whoa. Mm -hmm. wow, wow, that enlightenment. <laughs> Called Headspace. I want to consume it too. <laughs> you will, son. <laughs> oh my. <laughs> okay, so we are testing the Headspace Google Action today. I am really using Headspace mostly on my phone, on my on my um, Android phone, and so let's see how we can connect it to um, to this Google Home here and and try it out. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. The um, expectations are really high for this one. It feels like a deja vu, right? <laughs> 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 um, because this, if you're following the voice first news, um, you know that Headspace has been acquiring Alpine AI, um, um, the company of Steve Marchik and co-founders, um, who are also the people behind Voice Labs. I yeah. want to mention once again that this was my favorite um, voice analytics platform. So sad until this day um, that mm -hmm. they um, shut shop closed shop if only someone built a better analytics platform <laughs> okay yeah right. so i signed up for headspace after reading um, from the like reading about the acquisition yeah. i was like oh let's let's sign up for headspace yeah. again so at, they made at least eight dollars a month from this acquisition <laughs> okay <laughs> we need to cut that out the mic's back on okay google <laughs> talk to headspace all right Here's Headspace. I'm not sure who you are. Voice match or personal results might be turned off. Would you like to learn how to help me recognize you? Yes, I did it, I swear. Excellent. In your Google Assistant app, go to the device settings for this device and make sure that both personal results and voice match are turned on. I'll leave while you do that. Come back soon. Isn't it lovely how Jans personal virtual assistant tells him that he she's not sure who he is send i am using it it says like it says remove voice match But it was nice how she said, uh, um, <laughs> I'll, be, I'll be back, um, I'll leave you to it and uh, you can come back to me after you okay. finish. Mm -hmm. Retrain. Okay, Google. The mic is muted. Okay, Google. Hey, Google. Hey, Google. Setting up voice match. Mm -hmm. well, let's see. The mic's back on. Thank you. Okay, Google. Talk to Headspace. Welcome back to Headspace. You can do today's meditation, oh, a smooth nice. exercise, or unlock more meditations. Which would you like? Do a meditation. Welcome back to Headspace. You can do today's meditation, a sleep exercise, okay. or unlock more meditations. Which would you like? A sleep exercise. Sleep exercise. Is that already it? <laughs> Welcome to Headspace okay. on sleep. And to this guided exercise. Mm. Now, before you do anything at all, I'd just like you to take a moment just to get comfortable lying in your bed or wherever it is, 
you want to fall asleep. Make sure you're under the covers in case you do this fall one. asleep during this exercise. And even if you don't usually go to sleep on your back, it's like to begin the exercise by lying flat. Thanks for tuning in. Have your knees slightly bent if you like. But just lying so flat on the bed. Well? Yeah, okay, yeah. Google. Unlock more meditations. To get access to the complete Headspace library, which has hundreds of meditations and mindfulness exercises, you'll need to connect your account. Mm -hmm. You can connect an existing that? account or create an account. What would you like to do? Connect an existing account. It looks like your account is not linked, so you'll have to finish up on your phone. Is that okay? Yes. All right, I just sent you a sign-in link. You can find it in the Google Home app. Hmm. If you find it comforting, you can I just gently it. place your hand on your stomach as you breathe in and out, just to feel that movement. Yes, I lost it. No, it isn't there. Um, okay, Google. Un unlock more meditations. Sorry, I don't know how to help with that. Okay, Google. Ask Headspace to unlock more meditations. To get access to the complete mm. Headspace library, which Again. has hundreds of meditations Didn't and work. mindfulness exercises, you'll need to connect your account. You can connect an existing account or create an account. What would you like to do? Uh, connect an existing account. It looks like your account is not linked, so you'll have to finish up on your phone. Is that okay? Yes. All right, I just sent you a sign-in link. You can mm -hmm. find it in the Google Home app. We're just going to yeah. go through this Clicked exercise. It. Just doesn't open. Just slowly pointing the body. Well, yeah. <laughs> yes, thank you for tuning in. <laughs> okay, Google, stop. Okay, I don't know. Somehow it didn't mm. like it. The, the notification appeared for uh, for signing in, but when I clicked it, it just disappeared. And when I opened Google Assistant on my phone, it doesn't do anything, mm. unfortunately. Um, so maybe I'm doing it wrong. So where do you think is this the breakpoint here? Is it your Google Assistant app or uh, is it the fact that this is registered to a different account than your Google I am I am logged in with my maybe that could be the problem yeah. no I, I actually I, ch I switched accounts to make it work uh -huh. so it should it should be because also I did voice match with the, the account mm. that's right for this one so it seems like I don't know there's some issues with the push notification and then linking it because I am mm. logged in with the Jobo account. Huh. My activity, maybe that's helpful. Nope. Okay. Um, so I think it's a great way to, <laughs> to, to, to access meditations. <laughs> Get peace of mind. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Okay, A anything else? Well, I'm, I'm using it on my phone every day, almost. Humble bragging. <laughs> <laughs> I do meditations. Um, the guy's voice was really nice. Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> okay. <laughs> and it was nice how he was talking in the background while uh, yeah. <laughs> Google Assistant was talking. <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> okay. Cool. What can we learn from today's episode? Um, so it, if it worked, the whole like, I don't know, it would be mm -hmm. a very seamless experience to like, is it okay if, if I send you a link to your phone and then you can just click that and yeah. connect the account and it mm -hmm. like connects you with the Android app on there so you don't mm -hmm. really have to type in username and password. So yeah. in theory, this would be a great experience. Yeah. Just send it there, you click on it and then that's mm -hmm. it. And after that, you can always um access the the content also mm -hmm. on your google home device yeah. it's just i don't know if there was like a slight glitch or if there was a problem mm -hmm. with my account yeah. so 
it maybe it's my fault mm -hmm. there. Um, yeah, but yeah, yeah. like asking and then afterwards it was Google Assistant's voice instead of like the and I, I, I liked that I mm -hmm. felt like okay now it's Google's turn and it's not yeah. like the weird Google action that's sending you push notifications mm -hmm. for example yeah true I was going to, to remark upon that um, as well because it was a good um, demonstration mm -hmm. I think um, the app um, the, the Google action could have benefited from using the guy's voice because it is magnificent. Um, mm -hmm. I mean, think if yeah, he yeah. would uh, um, so welcome you to mm -hmm. Google Action and yeah. offer you to upsell, and uh, yeah. I think it would um, be way more. I mean, it's it's in character, right? From my understanding of Headspace, this is this, this one guy, yeah. and he does all the it's, meditations, right? It's only him, yeah. And he records probably like I don't know several hours a day <laughs> because they do daily meditations and yeah. all of that. And so they would have the bandwidth to like record some mm. some simple interactions. Mm -hmm. uh, I think so. Yeah, that would be a great great addition. Mm -hmm. And also would be I think um, some stuffs happening here in Berlin. Um, so I I think that would be a clear differentiator between the mobile app and the the voice app as well. To mm -hmm. have like on the voice app when you use this, you get like created by. Um, by yeah. Andy Padicom mm -hmm. instead of having to like click buttons and so on. So, oh, hey, good morning. Do you want to do your meditation today, for example? Yes, yeah, so. true. That would be a really neat experience, like uh, being in your home, getting out of the bed, mm. stepping into the, your living room, yeah. talking to um, the device, and it, yeah. it reads you already in that voice. Also for podcasts, for example, yeah. when you're like created by the hosts of the mm -hmm. show that you already know. Yeah. That, that you like um, it's better than just having like google assistant or alexa mm -hmm. say that cool okay sounds good at least yeah. some learnings mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. um yes good maybe voice game next time again <laughs> <laughs> see you next time thanks for tuning Bye. in